disturbing video that sparked protest in New York last month. The killing of a homeless man named Jordan Neely in a subway car. Daniel Penny, the Marine veteran who put Neely in that deadly chokehold, is set to be arraigned this morning on criminal charges. Penny claims he acted in self-defense. A grand jury says otherwise. Dre Clark is live for us in New York this morning, waiting for Penny to appear at that courthouse. Dre, good morning. Marquis, good morning. Daniel Penny's arraignment is scheduled to happen at 10 o'clock this morning, Eastern time, here at the courthouse behind me here in Lower Manhattan. We still don't know what charges the grand jury uh, is indicting Penny on because the indictment remains sealed, but we do know prosecutors needed a grand jury indictment in order to move the case forward against him. Now, Penny, a former Marine, uh, turned himself in in May after he was charged with second degree manslaughter. The 24 year old former Marine is accused of taking 30 year old Jordan Neely's life using a chokehold on board a New York City train on May 1st. The medical examiner says Neely died from a neck compression. Video of the encounter went viral, provoking mixed emotions and claims of racism. Penny claims Neely was yelling and threatening people on board the train, so he grabbed him from behind. Uh, he says his decision to grab Neely had nothing to do with race, but rather he was trying to protect the other passengers. Meanwhile, Neely's family says Penny took the law into his own hands and unnecessarily took Jordan Neely's life, and he deserves to be in prison. Neely was homeless with a well-documented history of mental health issues and run-ins with the law. He made money sometimes by impersonating Michael Jackson on board the train. Here's more from Daniel Penny talking recently about what happened the day he took Neely down. You know, this, is a, this was a scary situation, and uh, Mr. Neely came on. He was, he was threatening. He's, he's a, I'm 6'2", and he was taller than me, so it was... And there's a common misconception that Marines don't get scared. We're actually taught uh, one of our core values is courage. And courage is not the absence of fear, but how you handle fear. And, you know, I was scared for myself, but I looked around. I saw women and children. He was yelling in their faces, saying, saying these threats. I couldn't just sit still. After Penny's indictment earlier this month, Jordan Neely's family had this to say. The grand jury's decision tells our city and our nation that no one is above the law, no matter how much money they raise, no matter what affiliations they claim, and no matter what distorted stories they tell in interviews. Uh, back here live outside the courthouse, one thing you can't notice is the high number of security outside the courthouse here. By my count, I count 15 different uh, court officers here posted outside of the courthouse here. Daniel Penny has not arrived. Meanwhile, if convicted on at least a second degree murder charge, he faces up to 15 years in prison. Adrian. You know, Dre, I'm sure there are a lot of people watching who can relate to uh, Jordan Neely's family. There are a lot of people who can relate to Daniel Penny and his concerns, uh, wanting to be chivalrous, wanting to be a uh, protector of the weak who he saw on that train. Uh, thank you very much. Well, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.